So you have a new 8-inch Dobsonian and now what? I will show you the most important things you have to do right away with this Dobsonian. Let's go outside. You want to use these butterfly screws. They are M4 and they have 35 millimeters. You also want to use a good paint. You don't want a cheap paint because it will peel off and then it will fall on the mirror. So a Bondex, it's a good one. Dad, no! What? The wind! Hold on, just a minute. Oh no, what an idiot. I told you! Well, at the end we did it. This may happen if you don't point the telescope down. So you want to make sure that you point the telescope down in order to work with the gravity and not against the gravity. You will change the three screws one at a time for a new screw until you got all the three screws. Another important mod is the dust cap for, you guess what, protect from the dust. Mine is always placed. The fan works well even with the cap on. Now the protection for the tube and the primary mirror. Every time you point at Zenit or you lose the balance of the telescope and the base of the telescope where is the primary mirror bumps against the rocker it will introduce vibrations, hard vibrations, that could make you lose collimation. With a bit of stiff foam and duct tape, you can make a good protection. A very nice upgrade to the default finder is the Rossi finder. Right angle correct image. It will be a comfort for your neck and also to see the correct image through the finder. Up and down, left and right will be corrected. Now this is the most important upgrade from the 5, to me. The handles. With the handles you can lift all the setup, or if you have difficulty in doing that, only the rocker. So it's very handy and useful to grab the telescope and place it anywhere. All the materials used in this video We'll have the links at the description. And forget the Telra that you see in the image, because this is for another video. I don't like the way it is now, and I have a plan to place it where it should be. We are going to see the second wave of uh, modifications to the 8-inch Dobsonian. We will start by flocking the opposite side of the focuser. So behind the secondary mirror. Protostar flocking sheets are the best to use, but we will use inexpensive flocking stickers from Amazon because it's just to flocking a bit and it's not worth it to spend a lot in this job. Besides, we will use the same stickers to blackening the secondary mirror edges. So, bang for the buck, super inexpensive situation. I've been using for a long time the same material on my 12-inch Dobsonian and it works great. It helps a lot to improve the darkness of your views. And now we will use the same sticker to blackening the edges of the secondary mirror. This will turn everything black from the side that you are watching, which is the focuser. Just cut a boomerang shaped sticker. I didn't take any measures. I just look and more or less predict how much uh, I will need from the sticker. If you have difficulties in doing that, just use a simple paper and then 
you will cut the same shape to the sticker so you will not lose any sticker just be aware doing this not to touch of course in the secondary mirror face otherwise you will have to clean it not the end of the world but we want to avoid that by all means after these two mods implemented this will be like looking through a black hole great and now the dew shield for the secondary mirror this is not to eliminate the moisture this is to delay the dew formation and it works it keeps this like a, a little nest which protect and delays the moisture formation on the secondary mirror of course if you have heavy problems with the dew in your zone you have to buy a dew heater you just have to cut like i did i had a incredibly inexpensive foam sheet and i use it for this just cut at the shape of the boomerang a larger one and enough to evolve all the secondary mirror back until the top this i i made already in the 12 inch but in a different way in a 12 inch we can put another shield at the top because it will not make any obstruction to the light in this case as the mirror is smaller i did not place any cap or shield at the top i will only have this one and it's the most important one if you don't have a fan in your dobsonian you should have the fan is very important to dissipate all the hot hair flows inside the tube much faster in the acclimation period i use a power bank with two magnets this is a ship power bank attached to the tube with the magnets it will do the job i just have to connect it and ready to go if you have already a fan probably it is power supplied by batteries the default power supply that came with these telescopes it's good to change that for a power bank so that you don't need to change batteries and it's an easy thing to do you need a new usb adapter to connect the power bank to the fan another important and simple upgrade it's change the springs this will avoid to lose collimation during the travel with the scope or if you inadvertently bump the telescope and if you need to know more in detail about these springs i have a video about changing it in my 12 inch dog it's easy to do just change one screw at a time the black ones and use a caliper to check the measure so when changing for the new spring you can tight more or less at the same measure then when the three springs are placed you do a proper collimation just fine tune of course and now the most important one for me the tail rod look how well it fits on this triple bracket with a dovetail please subscribe and okay, give it a like, like. Ah. <laughs> oh yes listen to my children it's very important if you can start hope like me on portal 5 that you have a tail rod if you can't see the stars or almost none it's more important to have first the rasi finder that's why i placed it in the first video of the upgrades if you can have both like me it's brilliant to start hoping so have one and enjoy it now click on the video you see on the screen to know more about this wonderful 8-inch Dobsonian.